In this video, we will learn about a feature called freeze panes. And this feature allows us to view large sets of data easily in our worksheet. We are going to use this worksheet to note down the number of hours each employee worked every day of the year. And then we can use that information to calculate how much salaries they should be getting. We are assuming here that each employee is getting paid per hour. We have the names of employees in column A, and we would like to note down the hours worked by each employee every day. So we need to first write down or type the dates in our calendar. So I'm going to start typing here in cell B1, and we want to format it by control one, open the format cells dialog box, and let's say I want it to look something like this. Okay, so this is 1st January. And as we have learned before, the Excel has the feature auto fill, which allows me to fill in a series. So here we want every day of the year in 2013. So I'm gonna click this fill handle at the bottom right corner, and then I'm gonna drag it. And you can see here that Excel is now populating dates one by one as I keep dragging to the right. And now we have until 31st December. So I'm going to stop and you can see here that this is 31st December and I'm going to scroll back and we can see that we have all 365 days entered very, very quickly. I'm going to center that using the alignment here. And now we need to enter the information on number of hours each employee worked every day. Okay, so now we have all the data entered. And, and I'm scrolling to the right. And you can see that I have data all the way up to 31st December. But as I scroll to the right, I don't see the employee name anymore, which makes it hard for me to know what does this eight mean? Eight is the number of hours some employee worked on 25th December, but I don't know which employee. So this is one of the problems in having large data sets which go across pages. And so one of the ways to address it would be to use the feature called freeze panes. And let me select the cell B2, and I'm going to go to the view ribbon and freeze panes. I'm going to select freeze panes. And now you can see that Excel has drawn a slightly grayish color border below the first row. And also there is a border here to the right of the first column. And Excel did that because our active cell was this when we applied freeze panes. So that's why the borders are drawn here. And now let's see how it works. Now when I scroll to the right, as I scroll to the right, I can still see the first column. So the employee name is still visible. And I can now know this eight is the number of hours this employee, Nisha, worked on 12th January. So I can understand the data now, now that I have this column locked to be visible all the time. Now, when I scroll back, I can see the data for 1st January and 2nd January. So when I am scrolling to the right, even though the data for the first few days are not visible, it's just hidden from the view. It is still in this worksheet. And you can see here that this is column A, and then you have column K. The remaining are hidden. And when I scroll back, I can see them again. And imagine that we have more than 100 employees or so. And so I would have to scroll down to view information about other employees. And if I'm scrolling down, now that we have frozen the panes, we can see that the first row here is still visible. So I can have an employee down here, but I can still find out how, how many hours they worked on any given day because we have the day also visible all the time. And so this is the convenience or the benefit of using the freeze panes feature. 
Now let's try to get out of this freeze panes mode. So I will go back to the freeze panes here. And now it says unfreeze panes. So I'm going to click that. Now the border goes away. Now when I scroll, I am back to the normal. So the panes are not frozen anymore. And now to illustrate, I can select, for example, cell C3. And if I choose freeze panes now, you can see the borders are now drawn here. And the first two columns will be locked. And then the first two rows will be locked. So it really depends on where your active cell is. And so you can control how many rows or how many columns are locked. I'm going to go and unfreeze the panes again. Another thing you would notice is that there are two quick shortcuts here to freeze the top row and or freeze the first column. These are two options which we use very commonly. So Excel has given them as quick shortcuts here. Freeze top row, nothing but it freezes the top row and the columns are not. And if I choose freeze first column, the first column is frozen, but the rows are not. So these are two shortcuts available or you can also use the freeze panes depending on where your active cell is and how you how many columns or rows you want to lock keep in mind that wherever your active cell is all the rows above and all the columns to the left will be locked so if you're going to choose the freeze panes option choose your active cell where you need it to be